All right, squad, let's get this week going. Happy Tuesday to you guys. Usually we kick this stuff off on Monday, but I needed a little bit of a blow yesterday. Uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, the whole nine. I needed to take a second, uh, take a step back, take a deep breath and collect myself a little bit more, reflect a little bit more, spend some quiet time. Uh, it was very much needed. And I'm one to go, go, go. I know a lot of people out there are the same way where they just kind of persevere through stuff no matter how they're feeling, which is fantastic. I am the most guilty of that, no question about it. But self-awareness came into play yesterday. Some people helped me realize that stuff. Um, so I took a step back. I started to take a little bit more time for myself this past weekend and it felt fantastic uh, because again, I'm not normally one to do that. I'm certainly guilty in that regard. And I wanted to share that with you guys today because I know there's people out there listening probably right now who are emotionally drained or physically or mentally or spiritually, anything along those lines. And I want to encourage you guys, if you need a second or a minute or an hour or a day to take a deep breath, collect yourself, gather yourself, go ahead and do so because that's going to help you move forward that much better in the right direction um, than if you just kept pushing through and got things to a boiling point where once you reach that point, um, it's a slippery slope and it's going to be hard to kind of dig yourself out of that hole. So if you're feeling like that today or this week or in the coming weeks, I encourage you, I'm pushing you to do that stuff for yourself so you can be that much better as you move forward. Okay, so I just wanted to get that off my chest before we started the episode today because um, I'm really happy that I took that day and I'm feeling really fresh and energized and ready to attack this week. So with that, um, squad, our topic of conversation it's going to be a quote, and I don't know where the quote came from. Um, I don't forget where I heard it, but it was on my mind this weekend because I was thinking about why I started this podcast, and most specifically in regards to what I'm talking about when it comes to challenge and perspective and strength and why we needed these different things in our lives, what have you, because there's a zillion different podcasts out there that talk about the same things. A bunch of YouTubers talking about the same things, coaches, people on TV, teachers, all these messages are the same. We're all saying the same thing. The same things that are being said today were the same things being said 50 years ago, whether it's going to be 50 years from now. Generally speaking, it's all the same stuff. So what changes? Why is it important to have different voices communicating these same messages? It's because the messengers are constantly changing. The messengers are. And the reason the messengers are is because your voice matters. Maybe I'm only connecting to one or two people right now, but the connection with those one or two people may have not other been found, otherwise been found with a different voice or a different person communicating this stuff. The messenger matters. Your voice matters. It doesn't matter if you're reaching a million people, you're reaching one person, or maybe you're just reaching yourself. You're getting this stuff out of your own head. You're talking about it. You're being about it, what have you. Your voice matters. These different messengers matter because you're going to be able to relate to other people in ways that quite literally nobody else on the planet is going to be able to relate to them. And I was thinking about that because why do people listen to my stuff? To be quite frank, I don't really know sometimes. I'm just being myself, I'm just communicating this, but when I see people listening, it's like, okay, John, your voice matters right now. What you're saying, people are gravitating towards, so we have to keep that stuff going. And that's not just me, that's everybody else out there who has something to say, who has something to share. And it's not saying my way is the highway, but it's just speaking your truth, it's being yourself, and it's being that unique messenger that the world needs maybe at this point in time. And again, it doesn't have to be a billion people you're connecting with. Maybe it's just one. Or maybe even more importantly, it's just yourself. But if you can be that messenger communicating the same message that everybody else is saying, but you say it in a different way at the right time for the right reason and the right capacity, maybe you take to a little bit more. Somebody else does or somebody else does or 10 people or 100, what have you. That stuff's important. That stuff's important. So my message for us today is this. Yes, the messages are the same. The communication is not though. So be unique to yourself. Be true to yourself. Speak your truths. Don't be ignorant to the fact that there are other perspectives out there, different ways of communicating it, but you have to be true to yourself because when that authenticity shines, that's when people gravitate towards the messages that you are expressing. So what my, I want to encourage us to do today is be authentic to yourself. Be true to what type of messenger you are. Don't pander to anybody else. Pander to yourself. Identify who you are, what you want to express, and be genuine in that approach. And if you can do that, I think the masses that you are going to reach are going to very much surprise you. 
very much surprise you. So be true to yourself as we approach these coming days. Be that unique messenger that the world needs and see what happens. And I think you're going to like what you find if you can do so. So with that, you guys, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you all. Wishing you health, wishing you happiness, wishing you challenge, strength, perspective. And let's make this stuff happen this week so we can better ourselves in the coming days. And if again, like I kind of started this thing off with, if you need to take a step back this week, take one, take one, take that breath. It might be needed. So take it. So take it. So take it. So take it. All right. You guys have a fantastic day. Appreciate you guys tuning in and let's have a great Tuesday. God bless. Coach Cool.